Welcome to OmegaBone.com. I'm Omega. In this video, I'll be discussing working on new music. Thank you for joining me. When taking on a new piece of music, the first thing and the most important thing you have to do is to move the ego out of the way. Once the negative energy is gone, you can make room for the creative energy to enter. The negative energy is, you're too old, you're too young, you're not good enough, someone is better than you, um, other people have already done it, what could you do? Um, just feelings of inadequacy have no place in music. Everyone has a story to tell, everyone has something to contribute. And from that space is where you can create, bringing to the table what you have to offer. What is uniquely you? Sometimes you won't have anything to say for a piece of music. And in that case, then don't perform that music. Don't do anything to it. If, it, if everything that has to be said from that piece has been said, you don't have to reiterate it. But if you can bring something new to the table, by all means, do that. I wrote my first song in high school. And it was because I was in a play and the two songs I possibly could have done weren't right for me. Um, one song was done by a young lady and it was a gospel style song. And I can sing gospel, but I'm best as an ensemble singer in gospel um, because I can blend with anybody, but leading a gospel song is a different beast that I haven't tw that I haven't tamed yet so she got to do that song and she did a great job and the other song that I really did the best within the context of the play it was better sung by a younger person and the boy that did it did a great job and I was jealous of both of them and as soon as I got over being jealous and feeling, oh, I'm not as good as her or I'm too old to do this other song, once I got the ego out of the way, it was there that I found a place for me. I began to write my own song. That was perfect for me. Obviously because I wrote it. It was my voice, it was my story, it was my complete idea. And it was a big success. But that was because I got the ego out of the way. Likewise, when you perform music that's already been created by someone else, you still have to get the ego out of the way because if someone else wrote it, it's not gonna be your story. You know, how are you gonna make it your own voice? How are you going to represent your own truth? Get the negativity out of the way. You're not as good as the songwriter. You're not as good as the original singer or the singers that came after the original singer. Um, whatever excuse you have for not performing any individual song or any individual piece, move out of the way so that you, be, so that you can become creative, so that you can give your own voice to the song. Like, take the example of Project Runway hosted by Heidi Klum in the United States and Iman in Canada. One of the challenges they give their contestants is creating a piece from an existing piece. Typically, their challenges require them to go to a, a fabric store and they have yards and yards and yards and yards and yards and yards of beautiful, luscious fabric to create from. But to really challenge them, they ask them to take a pre-existing piece and make it into something that's their own style, that's their own voice, that's their own creative expression. And that's far more difficult. So what do they have to do? They have to break the piece down into its components. Take apart the sleeve, take apart the lapel, take apart the buttons and the lining versus the outer fabric to see everything that they have available to them. 
and it's only there and then can they figure out how to make something new out of those existing pieces. And that's what you have to do as a singer. You have to take apart the music, you have to take apart the lyrics to see what's there. What can you do with what is there? Like take If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. I can't sing it like her. For one, I can't play piano. I can't do the things that she can do. You know, we come from different experiences. I'm from Los Angeles. She's from New York. Um, you know, one of her parents is white. Um, both of mine are black, but one of my parents is an American. So I have a different experience. Now, when I perform the song, there's going to be some similarities because we are both women, we are both artists, we are both American. So there's going to be some similarities, but I have to find what's true for me. And how do I do that? I break it down to the smallest component. What are the words saying to me? Some people live for the fortune, some people live for the fame, some people live for the power, some just live to play the game. You know, what does that mean to me? Who am I talking about? Do I know a specific person for each of those phrases? Who am I talking about? And if I have a real connection to each word, to each phrase, to each idea, it's going to come across as real. So, once I figure out what I want to say with the lyrics, I go and I delve into the music. I do everything I possibly can on my own so that when I come to the table to work with someone else, my ideas are formed as much as possible so that I'm not drug into a direction that I don't necessarily want to go in. So in closing, whether you're working on a piece from scratch or from pre-existing material, make sure that you move your ego out of the way. Move the negative energy out of the way so that the creative energy can come down and guide your work. Thank you for joining me.